Hello everyone. Okay, today I'm going to um, talk about, or I should say more like a review of the Berda style um, magazine where I managed to do a pattern from it. This is the first time I've ever done uh, a pattern using the Berda style, you know, magazine. <laughs> So I'm not sure if many of you do you know, know about it. For those of you who enjoy, uh, you know, sewing patterns, you know, getting sewing patterns and making clothes out of sewing, sewing patterns, this is a good, good, um, you know, um, magazine to have actually. If you can subscribe, that would be very good because uh, not only does it have sewing patterns okay it also gives you an idea of the latest trends um, as you can see you know how you put certain outfits together and also they also have you know uh, inspirational illustration pictures of the pattern that uh, you probably might be interested example let's say you like this dress and then it will give you the um, you know uh, technical drawing over here and then it will give you the reference on uh, the paper pattern that you will have to, you know, basically trace from. And uh, also suggestions of the notions and fabrics that you need to use. So I absolutely love this, um, you know, magazine. And uh, I don't know why I subscribed. I Because the subscription was a bit expensive. So what I did was that I just uh, subscribed for six months. So my last issue was up till, uh, which is actually up till, not this one. I think this is February 2011. I think my last issue was March 2011. Um, I really regret why I didn't uh, extend it further because for me personally, I prefer spring summer fashion. For me, winter fashion is like really very boring and dull because you have to like layer with coats and all, but that's just me. So I just feel that you know this this edition especially is so you know suited to my taste so what i did was that i was very much inspired by this skirt where is that this skirt over here it's just a straight long pencil skirt okay um it's also available here but it's in black so i'm not sure whether you'll be able to see so this is how, it's a very nice high-waisted uh, skirt, very slim fit, you know, makes you look tall, especially when you're petite and small like me. So I really liked it and I managed to sew one. So the pattern that I, um, well, tried sewing was this one, pattern 107. Okay, and it's the view B, which is slightly shorter um, than C and a bit, tiny bit longer than A. Actually, to be honest, I think I would have, you know, gone, I mean, I would have been okay if I chose the view A because what I did was that with the pattern, I didn't extend my hem line. Instead, I just cut where the pattern stopped and then from there, I just folded about, I think, uh, two, four, 4 cm upwards and then I did top stitching with a jeans you know the jeans type of thread you know the thicker thread so okay with this skirt it's extremely easy to make really especially if you are a advanced beginner uh, why I say advanced beginner I, I consider myself a intermediate uh, intermediate beginner only because I know how to sew I can draft I can you know put garments together but I still think I need fine tuning when it comes to uh, you know proper finishes and all so yeah so with this skirt it's just a simple uh, you know straight pencil kind of skirt you know pencil skirt so the only thing that I really don't like about Berda style, um, you know, patterns is that it comes like this, especially the ones that comes with the magazine. It's like this. It's like so many patterns in just one big piece of paper. So initially I was like, oh my God, where am I to find what pattern goes with what, you know? So you have to be very careful as in like you really need to read it a couple of times to understand. 
Okay, example, there is a, uh, you know, a guide, a diagram over here where it says uh, green pattern line sheet C. So what you have to do is to go to sheet C on the pattern itself. Okay, um, example, just as an example, this is pattern B. So what I had to do was to open it up. Of course, I'm not going to do it right now. So it's like you have to open it up, go to uh, sheet C. And then you have to find out where is the pattern and there are numberings you know so you have like I think pattern 21 up till 25 so you need to identify uh, the pattern pieces okay and also your size okay for me personally uh, what I did was that I measured myself I have my own uh, measuring method okay well I mean I basically followed uh, or I should say I have my own measure measurements taken just like uh, maybe one month ago so I just used it as a reference so what I did was I looked at the diagram over here and then I wrote down where my sizes was and I found out that I was in between a 34 and 36 so of course you know at the back of my mind I was like thinking usually European size and the US size the US size is like really really big for me I always have to do some form of uh, alteration you know it's either too uh, large on the neckline the bust area or the waist or the hips so I always almost have to do some sort of uh, you know adjustment but with this burda style, um, initially I was thinking it's just going to be too big, okay? So I have to be careful. Maybe I should get a size bigger and then I grade it down. Grade it down as in like to, you know, to make the measurements work for you. So what I did was that I cut a size 34. But when it came to the waist area, I had to, or I should say the hip area, not the waist. The waist was perfect. I was a size 34 with the ease and all in it. So what I did was that since this was the first time I did a uh, pattern from Burda style, I did a muslin where I, you know, just add in a little bit more ease and, you know, I did some adjustment on the hip area since I have a larger hip compared to my waist. So um, it worked fine and what I did was that I managed to sew my um, skirt. So this is a stretch denim. This is the back side of it. So what I did was that uh, I put in a invisible zipper over here. Based on the pattern recommendation, it says that uh, you should use lining. But you know, since this fabric is quite thick, I did away with the lining. Instead, I just um, made sure that I overlocked the inside. You know, made sure that it was all clean, ironed it properly, and tried to do proper finishing inside. Okay, so yeah. I really like it you know um, you will definitely see a picture right after my chat here and uh, and let me know what you think uh, overall for me I really really like uh, I mean my first try with Burda style you know the sewing pattern it seemed to have worked fine um, but I wasn't very happy with the instructions I just felt that the instructions was like half past six and it wasn't really very good it was just saying also oh, the side base this base that for a visual learner like me it's a bit it was a bit difficult but since I already have some experience I just managed to put it all together based on the knowledge that I acquired you know with the years of experience that I have in the sewing uh, part so yeah I really liked it you will see the pictures right after this uh, clip so stay tuned for that and thank you so much for watching if you'd like to know um, you know if you have any questions not if you'd like to know if you have any questions just leave it in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as I can so take care now see you guys later bye